<laughs> Hello people, it's Gavin here again from Hollow Ground Productions. Take off, and today we're going to be looking at the music of Overmono. <laughs> Now, if you're a fan of Overmono, it will not have escaped your notice that they have a new album out called Good Lies. This album has been hotly anticipated for some time. It's their first full album. It came out at the beginning of the summer and it is wall to wall bangers. So I'm going to try and break down their iconic British gritty sound and we're going to focus on the tracks Gunk, Everything You Need and a track called Baby No, which is an original that I created taking inspiration from some of their techniques. We are going to need very gritty drums. We're going to need some UK bass wampus action, some simple melodic ideas, a very heavy chorus effect on the vocals and some UK style spoken word. Now over the last two years I've had a lot of hardcore over mono fans come to me wanting to break down their old material from the Arla EPs and I've collated all of this material and I've put it into a MIDI pack which is now available on my website which includes breakdowns of tracks Powder Dry, Inulin, Still Moving and Wing It and it comes with a one hour and ten minute long video breaking down all of the sounds in each of those tracks which I then stitched together in Frankensteinian fashion to make a super overmono track called Stinula Dovengri. Yeah, I had to spend a minute on that one. But that's for the hardcore fans. For people who are just interested in the samples which I'm going to use in today's video breaking down gunk everything you need and my own track this is still available on Bandcamp and if you want the full MIDI pack of the songs that I'm about to break down in this video the Overmono MIDI pack is also available so anyway let's get started with our first track so in order to construct the you need to source your drums from a UK garage pack there's a ton of good UK garage packs on splice I quite like this kick but I needed to beef it up using a bit of glue and drum bus to boost the bass Here's a nice tops loop, but I'm just gonna take the hat, turn on the filter, cut off the highs and boost it about 6,000. Turn on the SMT filter and turn the drive up to about 13 dBs. Then throw on a DS to compress the highs, shorten the decay, and use an EQ to isolate the highs. Now duplicate this line and do the same thing for a 909 open hi-hat. And for the clap, I found this clap, but I'm going to start the sample halfway into it because I think this would work a little bit better with the kick. Send some reverb to the return channel. Use the drum bus to tighten the transients, add a de-esser, isolate the mids and highs with the EQ, and altogether it sounds like this. Now to make some offbeat tops, I just put a tops sample into simpler in slice mode, and then I use these individual hits, turn the drive up on the filter, put some glue, put some saturation, because you need to grit the drums up, a lot of glue, a lot of saturation, and then EQ off the bits of the frequency you don't need and isolate the highs. To thicken the sound, we just need one more drums loop. Again, glue and EQ, as you see on the screen. All together, send some reverb to the return channel. Group the drums together and then add my mix down effects. Okay, so now let's move on to the analog, one oscillator, sawtooth, notes are on the offbeat. Turn the filter down, turn the envelope up to four, and you got it. And for the same instrument but cut off the lows and the note hits on every other 16th note. To give it some swing you have to take all the notes and push them slightly forward. The bass and the lead sound like this together. And now everything together. Sounds really close but it won't be complete until we've added the Run it through reverb, then very heavy chorus, and then heavily sidechain it to the kick. Now let's do an AB comparison to the original. Now let's move on to our second track. So the first bit of the track that I want to break down is the It's very similar to the sawtooth analog lead in Gunk. But don't draw these MIDI notes in, you have to play them out on a keyboard because they sound very loose as you can hear. Run the sound through an echo, and all of the parameters that are colored red are the parameters that I manipulate live to make the sound more exciting. Then put on a hybrid reverb called Empty Walls, then heavy saturation, then side chain it to the kick, turn up the volume, and cut off the lows. Now create an instrument rack with another instrument in parallel 
which is the wave table with the heavier pluck with the sawtooth and it's up one octave. When you put on the grain delay, it pushes the notes onto the offbeat. Now let's make the... I'm gonna make it from scratch by looping a Rhodes sample. Activate loop and shorten the loop as short as possible and then you get this sound. And with this, we can make our chords. Apply these settings to the filter. And these settings to the LFO. Slow attack, long release. Auto filter to roll off the super highs. Run it through an echo with the high input. And then run it through another filter, which causes left and right movement. Roll off the lows run it through a hot driven tape and then reverb and then side chain it to the kick and now let's introduce the the midi pack comes with a collection of uk garage kicks which you can audition within simpler by moving the start time around i quite liked this kick with this eq curve then you throw on a 909 hi-hat now here's what i decided to do for the tops on the offbeat I used four really sharp, really quick, transient high hits. This one has a lot of erosion on it. And then you put all four of them together on the offbeat. You run it through punchy snare corpus effect, then drum bust to tighten it, and then EQ. So this really grits it up. And then another shaker line with the transients tightened, and then isolate the highs. And all together they sound like this. Group the drums together and turn on the drum bus. Cool, now let's move on to the wavetable sine wave in mono. And then you just turn the FM up to 11% to give it some harmonics so the sound will come through on shitty speakers. And then turn the drive up on the filter. So taking inspiration from these techniques, I'm now going to take all of them and make my own track. As usual, we start with the This is a drum rack and then me putting in the MIDI for the drums. So the kick sounds pretty lame, so let's use the filter to grit it up. Heavy drive. Cut off the highs. Then add a small amount of kick tight to give it a bit of sub. Use the EQ to give a little bit more love to the sub, and then run it through limiter. But we can make the transient stronger, so we have a second layer here, which is a really, really short transient with the following EQ. Both of them together make a really tight kick. And then we're going to use the following offbeat hits which all come from UK garage packs. So this is the basis of our beat. Now we need more layers. Here's a hi-hat tops layer. And I tightened the transients and I turned down the volume on certain sections because it was too busy otherwise. Now to make the snare, I took the same loop and I turned it down. And I turned the volume down on the sections I didn't need. So now you have a snare, which is really gritty and you use the EQ to boost the mids. And then side chain to the kick. Nice and gritty. For extra grit, add a subtle vinyl loop and turn the transposition down and add another one with the transposition super high and isolate the highs. And all together, again, super gritty. One more top slayer, just to add a little bit more punch to the snare. And then EQ, glue, multiband, dynamics, and saturation. Beautiful. Time to throw in some, some percussive vocal chops. A male voice. And a female voice. Hear the heavy chorus. Sounding really groovy. Now we need to throw in a... I don't really care what key this is in, I just want to create some wumps. The notes go up, down, and up. Operator, sine wave, voice, one, glide on, 85 milliseconds. So you create this wumps. Now copy the following parameters, they're all sine waves, in FM. Then you get that gliding sub bass, it's a very distinctive British thing and very distinctive for over mono. Now to create some wumpus action, just play around with the filter giving it some wah-wah effects. Quickly throw in a... Again, let's make it from scratch, turn on the loop and shorten the loop as short as possible. Use the filter to cut off the highs. Give it a bit of LFO, as you can see. And draw in the following notes. Turn on portamento so the notes glide. 
Make the sound wider by duplicating the instrument. Have one panned left, one panned right. One of them, the EQ is slightly different and one of them is slightly detuned. Then turn on Redux to grid it up, a little bit of erosion. Compress it to the kick. EQ off the lows. And there you go. As an optional extra, you could try to throw in a UK rapping a cappella. Okay, boys and girls, that just about wraps it up. Uh, I hope that you got a certain amount out of this to learn how to grit your drums. If you feel that you need a bit more, then contact me on this email address to set up some one-on-one one, one -on -one tuition. I can't even speak right. If you love the channel, then the channel needs your support. Then purchase something, whether it be samples or a MIDI pack. Uh, so anyway, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.